Bienvenidos todos a la cocina fina de Varela. Ella cocinando con amor y sabor. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Varela's Fine Cuisine. I'm just going to give you a backstory. I always want to give a history on what I cook and why I cook it. So the first thing, para mi gente hispana, historia. El orden de la palabra escovish o civiche es perja. Los árabes de Persia. De Persia. Trajeron la palabra escovish a España en el siglo 8. La año 8. La palabra se deriva de al sigva, un popular pa plato de carne que se cocinaba en una salsa agridulce eh, generalmente vinagre vinagre perdona mi palabra vinagre. y miel o melaza o melaces de dates en el caribe usamos escuviche para comer eh, con pescado frito plátano y albondigas and for my english speaking people Here's a history of escovish. The origin word escovish is Persian. The Arabs brought the word escovish or escoviche to Spain in a century. The word is derived from al sikba, a popular meat dish that was cooked in a sweet and sour sauce, usually vinegar and honey or date molasses. In the Caribbean, we use escovish to eat with fried fish and banana and dumplings and other veggies. So please, um, today I'm gonna take you in history path on how we cook this fish from start to finish and I will be making some escovish at the end. Thank you. Now I'm gonna be adding some seasonings on here. We have garlic. Ajo. We have um, mengibre. Ginger, mostaza, mustard. Poni poquito mostaza, sí. tu pescado. Um, una cosa, uh, cosa de India dice tandoori masala, poquitito. Una pescado. Um, curry, curry. Tú sabes los hindi, indios en India usar curry para cocinando. In India, they use um, tandoori masala curry for every dish they have. And yes, they also use coconut milk like the Caribbean people, the West Indies. Whatever country you're from, they always use different um, you know, yes. spices. And this is one. We call um, este, este, no es achote. Um, no, es, es mexicano. Especia mexicana. Ch chipotle. Oh, chipotle. Chipotle. Okay. <laughs> Perdóname, pero no recuerdo ese nombre. Ahí <laughs> pone sal. And this is salt in English. Um, also, I'm going to put a little bit of some garlic paste in here, which is optional. You can put it if you yeah. want to, but we put, you stop being messy. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to put garlic paste, but um, now I'm going to mix it up and put a little bit of turmeric. Turmeric is good for um Turmeric is good for inflammation. So you can put it in your fish. And make it tasty. So I'm gonna mix it now. I'm gonna mix it well. Le da buen sabor. Va a mezclar este pescado. Okay. Va a revolver. Va a mezclar. Pone um um candimentos. 
Of course, I see if I miss mess like y'all. Now I'm gonna be mixing the fish. I'm gonna season it. And I will be coming back with an end product. Thank you for watching. Oh, yep. Hello guys. I'm back and I'm getting attempting to fry the fish. But first thing is first. When you do excavation, make sure you fry the pepper first. The reason for this is not to make the fish thick. Okay? Now we'll be back as soon as I start frying the fish. You must have taken the scallop. So guys, here I'm going to be making this fish. Piscado frito para mi gente latino, Caribe, América Sur. Para son gente no puede cocinar hoy para aprender. Ok. Va a poner uh, ese piscado de harina primera de um, com, uh, cocinando. Ok. Primer picado. Y yo poní ese harina. Para cocinando ese piscado frito. Y for my American people, fry fish. I know some of my, my friends from the south. They are uh, fried them fishes. Okay, I'm going to do a big one now. So... Here we have some snapper. Um, a lot of people from the Caribbean, a lot of people from South America eat snapper. So, just want to let you know that. Um, just do what you can do. Cook how you want to cook. But, you know, sometimes we all have to learn to do something, you know? So, I'm putting this one in. Let me this. Go ahead. Guys, I'm going to be coming back with the end product, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Hey, my friends. Hola, mi gente. Así, cocinando tu piscado. And this is how you turn your fish. Make sure you turn it and, you know, flip it. It's supposed to be brown like this. I'm going to attempt to turn this big snapper right here. Okay? See? Tiene que estar dorado. See, you're going to make your fish... It's, you know, fry fish. See? See how it looks? It's nice. Also, you can scrape it. Nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. So that's what you have to do. Guys, um, this is the end product. Um, the end product. So this is how you want your fish to come out. And this is, um, snapper. Fish that everyone in the Caribbean eat. So please, like, share, subscribe, share with your friends. Cooking is fun. Enjoy yourself. It's a learning experience to make your own dish. And now, comparte y dale like. No olvides suscribirte al canal de la cocina fina de Varela. Nos vemos en el próximo video. And thank you for watching. Oh, hola mi gente querido todo está cocinado todo cocinado está finito ahora va a poner en el plato ok primero arroz Piscado frito. Piscado frito, mira. Se ve bien sabroso. Bien, bien, bien. Bien rico. Qué rico. Así. Ok. Y la otra cosa va a poner aquí. Escubish. Escubish. Así comiendo la gente de Caribe. España, Arabia, oh, y la gente de América, América del sí. Sur, tú sabes cuál país es comiendo así.
Okay. Y falta pepino con lechuga. Okay. Es un rico dish completa, sabroso, rico. Riquísimo se mira. Okay, now guys, I, like I said, please, if you like what I did, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, share with your friends. And like I said, cooking is a learning experience. En español dice... No olvides darle like, comparte el video y suscríbete a la cocina fina de Varela. Nos vemos en el próximo video. Ok, adiós. Gracias por ver.